so that it's applicable to all demographics and not perhaps overstepping bounds or uh, in a way that's legend. Whoa. <laughs> so you really did do that, please. <laughs> Okay, so ask the question one more time. Uh, oh, I'll provide my tip. Um, for example, when Resident Evil, the recent incarnation came out, there was a question of the way that race was embodied in that game. Oh, I mean, how about how the black zombies can jump really high? <laughs> Understanding that some of your audience, obviously, the demographics that you cater to, uh, they're going to have different levels of positionality and how they're going to understand that. How do you buy what you're producing so that it's not only attractive, but you're saying something? And I think that's what sets packs apart from other uh, comic strips is there's, you're saying something. There's a social commentary there in the same way that Chappelle or uh, any of these other artists that are doing something in that same niche. How do you do that? You may have misinterpreted at the body of our work. <laughs> I want to be as smart as the person you are describing. <laughs> but in general, I mean, this is the trouble, is that, you know, we're definitely two white dudes, and we lead a super sheltered life, and sometimes the things we say seem like they're ironic statements, but really they're just a representation of how little we know about everything. <laughs> So let's, let's go with the first one, though. Let's say that we've created a, a pan-racial uh, smorgasbord of content that all can enjoy. Okay. Okay. <laughs> We're good?